the evidence itself has not been revealed, U.S. intelligence is claiming to have proof of China manufacturing nuclear weapons, a blatant infraction of international treaties. China has made an unmitigated denial of the charges, restating the belief that <laughs> diplomatic talks with China continue to crumble. U.S. military forces are mobilizing towards the anticipation of possible hostility. China again denies any involvement in Kombeng Nikolaz's Oh my God. Broadcast through the internet just minutes ago. Cannot allow my nation to be subjected to the blatant international despotism of the United States or the cronyism of its allies. The world is not yours alone. And the soldiers you send into it are all equally guilty of American fascism. At 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Standard Time, the United States soldiers captured in a just war against their motherland will be executed. Their deaths broadcast for the world to watch. Rescue the captured U.S. troops. In a desperate act of defiance against the U.S., Nikolaz arranges the immediate live webcast executions of, captured, of the captured U.S. soldiers. Valenslav Grinko will distract will direct the soldiers' deaths. The execution must be prevented to persevere any hope of stabilizing political relations with the Chinese. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nikolaz kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killing. Nikolaz is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. That's your first objective. You'll find the rest on your offsite. All right, winners, welcome. Uh, welcome to back to some Splinter Cell here. Uh, the game's difficulty is going to proceed to to ramp up now. Uh, we are getting towards the latter half of the game. We've got about two, uh, maybe three missions left to go in the game before uh, it really gets to a to to the crescendo. Like this is probably uh, one of the harder levels in the game. Um, it's just it just one of those times where in this game uh, it happens to really be like, hey, this is. I can't see him. The game uh, really begins to like go places with it uh, and get rather challenging. Um, That's one of those spots right there where it's just like, that's a challenge. Wow. Ugh, I hate... I, I do have to say, like, one of the things that that really... Uh, I guess, and I've said it now a couple times, like, when they do the remake for this game, they really do need to decide, like, hey, if we're going to give you the, all the creature comforts, definitely make the stealth harder. But some of this early stuff in this game is particularly uh, challenging here. Like I said, just having to hit that person. Now, granted, I can sit here and I could be like, yeah, let me just go ahead and use uh, my SC40 or 20K, I think it is in this one, right? Let me go ahead and put this guy down. Uh, just go ahead and use that and then use that to, to get through the, the levels. It would make it a lot easier uh, when it comes to... When it comes to doing uh, a lot of these these uh, these missions because you can zoom in with it and really you know take some shots there to take somebody out. Um, but one of the things I love about this early level, especially here, is you know we're in this to take care of and with the rescue of these American soldiers. But if you noticed really early on, Sam goes, "Hey, are we are we worried about the the soldiers, or are we worried about this broadcast?" And Lambert sits there and goes, we're worried about the broadcast right this moment. Um, it, it's it's a level of honesty there that you might not be like really ready to hear yet. Because at this point of the game, like, you know, Fisher's shown he, he's a person of character. By asking that question, it's kind of a, hey, are, what are we actually, what are we actually doing here? What are we actually uh, worried about, and he's worried about the soldiers. That's, you know, it shows the character of who Fisher is 
uh, as a person. Now, what I'm going to do here is let me go ahead and read uh, the data slates. This is going to tell me about Grinco and a lot of like, hey, this is how far we've been like tracking him. Here's his history, things like that, because we do want to get to him. Uh, now, dearest David, I know you can't give me specifics, but please at least let me know you're not taking part in the awful business with the executions. I've seen some of their faces on the news. I know they're Americans and I know they're soldiers. I know they would kill you if they had the chance, but killing them for an audience is somehow too much. I keep seeing the Willard's boy's face on the news. He's barely older than my Pavi. I miss you too, but I want to do it with a pure, pure heart. Please let me know you're not part of these barbaric executions. Love, Amelia. Well, he's not because he's dead. So, takes care of that. Gentlemen, I've been asked to arrange for Nicolata's extraction. Should the need arise, this, of course, will only come into play in the event of the worst possible chain of events. Colonel C, you, of course, will handle all details in relation to the coordination of the helicopter and pilot who is not to be notified of his destination until he is in the air. You and P will then spearhead the response to whatever threat has instigated the extraction. Colonel V, you will assist Grinko in our third backup plan for execution of the Americans, as well as covering communications to General Feirong back at the embassy so that he may destroy all evidence of his activities. I have every faith we will not come to this point, but we must be prepared, Colonel a. I, I can, I'm not even pretending to do their names. A lot of checkpoints here, too. That's how you know the game is also kicking up, where it's like, hey, here's a checkpoint, here's a checkpoint. Like, I walked 10 feet and hit two checkpoints. Colonel, this is Badri. The landmines are in place. Make sure nobody without the polarized thermal sensor enters the courtyard. Oh, fuck, I think he's coming to me. <laughs> yep, I care. And so they also just told me, hey, there are uh, landmines in the courtyard. And take this guy out too. Now they are talking about uh, taking on uh, United States soldiers here. So I am at the point where I'm like, you know what? Extreme prejudice. Another data stick here for us. <laughs> no email door codes. The lack of security exhibited by you, the men under your commands, and the men and men like you has played an unforgivable role in the loss of our assets on the Kola Peninsula. We will. We went through drastic and con convoluted methods of encryption to safeguard our communications from the enemy, but your laziness and lack of discipline has subverted this. No more door codes are to be transmitted by email. Unencrypted flash RAM grabbed emails have created security catastrophe throughout our entire army. This will no longer be tolerated. Anybody sending or receiving or carrying flash RAM copies of door code emails will answer to me and a pair of flyers tell your men, VG. I love that he's like, all right, look. Uh, shit's going down, and I don't like this. Um, and we're we're not fucking tolerating that. Let me. Uh, do let me. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a guy up there. And I just want to be able to like take him out real quick. Cause there's, I can see the guy over there. So this area guys, we are going to do some speed run strats um, because this area notoriously is incredibly challenging. Um, and I want to try to avoid it as best as possible. 
Uh, ooh. There it is. Okay. So part of me is like, hmm. here's a window. Bam! Took him out. I wonder if I can uh, get that guy, right? He does not pause for long. Okay. Whew. That's going to be a shot and a half, isn't it? There are a few guys in there. Um, I don't think I'll get it. Now, one of the other key things in this area is if I get hit by any of these spotlights, uh, one, the mines are insta-death. So, I mean, take that for what you will. Uh, and then two, the, uh, bam, couldn't do that again, but if I try, literally, let's hope I don't have to, uh, the mines in this, if those, uh, flash, if those things hit me, it is a, uh, it is an immediate alarm goes off. So what I'm trying to do now is just hit the speed run strats here. So you're going to notice I'm not even uh, looking at it. And I just come on, get up. Go, Sam. And bam, immediately on the other side. Uh, so that's one of those things that like I remember early on, because if I were to like turn that on, there are mines everywhere. And Lisa just navigating past all of those alarms is a bitch and a half. And it's just, I don't want to do it. So I'm going to avoid it. But I also know that there's a med kit there. And so that's nice. I, I, seriously? Fuck this. I want this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Medical kit. We can do this. What defeated you? Being able, not being able to pick up that med kit. That's what really defeated me. Uh, of course I did that. Uh, early games, am I right? <laughs> this next area, also particularly harrowing, but I think we're going to do okay through it. So this level, guys, is the most Splinter Cell-like level of, of the game, honestly. Uh, this is the level where the game throws at you, one, all of Sam's quick. You've got, you know, the SC20K, you've got the pistol, you've got all the attachments, the airfoil, the sticky camera, the regular camera, the diversion cameras, the smoke, sticky shockers, airfoil rounds, all the stuff that, like, you get to play with throughout the game is given to you on this level. And then what the level does is the game's also like, hey, here are mines that you have to detect with your thermal goggles, which you really haven't had a need to use um, up until this point. Then up here kind of looks like the uh, obstacle course from the very early part of the game. Game also sits there and goes, hey, it's a tin roof. Uh, if you walk along it, make too much noise, the game will, like, you'll you'll trigger an alarm and the enemy will really know that, that you're here. Uh, so it puts you in a pretty big, like, rock and hard place uh, to get through this, as well as, like, now the game can be like, hey, here you can make more noise uh, along some parts of this. If you notice, like, I'm completely lit up. So I'm going to be quiet for this part. <sighs> Alright, let me go ahead and see if I can get all the way over there. And trigger, like, all of this without really having to 
without like trying to trigger an alarm. Uh, spot up one more time. Try not to move because there are some it's an early game, guys. So there are some points in it where it can be silly. And then right here, we don't know what happened, but we lost we lost access to everything. We can't we can't get up on the on the roof anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nickel wants out of here. I want his helicopter. And now you get to see that plan they told you about earlier. Hey, get him out of here. They're walking through everything they had planned before you got here. Um, and they're they're going to escort the, the president out of here. I like it. The one guy's like, I'm a badass. See my tattoo on my neck. That's how you know I'm a badass. This mark. I'm going to go ahead and save it here.